snail and foggy. It's December 2nd, 2012, my cousin's birthday and Brittany Spears' birthday. And we're going to Savers and Sam's. And I'm going to try and dig back the, yeah, it's foggy out. See, it's foggy. And it's going to get 69 today and 72 tomorrow. Yeah, it's December and it's hot here. Shocker. Usually it's snowing. So, but after that it's going to get cold. And I'm wearing cat's vlogs and it's making that here to start my intro. But, um, to say that I'm going to try to take those cameras back even though I got it October 14th. I'm going to see if they give me a store credit. I doubt they will, but hey, it doesn't hurt to try, you know? Even though it says after seven days you cannot. But we're going to try since they don't work and they're the ones that sold us a crappy camera. And we're going to tell them the situation that we live far away. We don't get to go the two savers very much. And maybe they might work out a deal. And then hopefully cross our fingers I'm t I've never seen Night Court season one on DVD and they didn't have when I got the CD or when I got the DVD it had disc disc two in it but no disc one and my mom's got the receipt so I'm going to take it back to Best Buy or to Sam's or yeah, Sam's, and let them know, and then hopefully, I'm praying that they still have them there, and that they still have an extra copy of the first one, and we get it, and then we'll check right when we get in the car, I'll open it, and we'll check and see if two discs are in there before we leave, but hopefully, cross our fingers, they have an extra one, if they don't, then I'll just get my money back, and maybe get a different movie. If they have something I want. So come along and journey with me. Gotta go take a shower and then we'll go. I'm probably gonna wear shorts because my pants need to be washed from yesterday and they kept falling down because when they get wet or worn a lot they fall down. My shorts are like that too because I have to get an extra size bigger because they don't have the exact size I need. So I'm probably gonna wear shorts for that. Bring a jacket just in case I need it. But yeah, sometime today is supposed to be 69. And the birdies are making this feel like I'm in a forest. Because they're going crazy this morning. that. I'm ready to go. I'm all clean and shiny. That's right. Looks like mom was taking some stuff to to girl. So, we're to save her. Yeah. Ugly sweater. <laughs> okay, let's go on the line of model pony. Yes, I'm going to do it. Jealous right now, swap me searcher, because look. You took this fight for a dollar. Gotta get to your savers. No white. Aww. And guess what I'm thinking of? Baby Tartan, Princess Tartan, Sherry Tartan. I love that. There's the dude. Some other dolls, some other trinkets. Add savers. So the camera deal was if you, they really can't take back electronics. But. Since we live out of town and don't come here much, they allowed it, but the thing is, since I have no price on the other camera, they will do me a deal in way I want, since I didn't have a price on the other, which sucks, but it's okay, at least 
20 works. So I gotta find something here for 20 for replacement. And I use your number two. Good lord. Uh, coughing Santa. And a cute little kitty. And some other Christmas stuff. That's funny as hell. And there's all this stuff. Does this work? Yep. <laughs> a black Santa. Oh my gosh. I've seen that before. Oh my god. Oh my god. Vintage. I love the keyboard like that. So it's falling apart right there. I think it's supposed to do that. But I don't know. It pulls out. Wicked. That is so huge. But what might my nephew do with that? Even though it's two hours. There's mega blocks. But I don't want mega blocks. If they had a big set of layers for like 20, I'd be like, okay, what's that? We got something for 20. But they don't. I told you it's going to be a hard decision to find something for 20 Even if my aunt or my mom does, I mean, at least somebody can get it, their money's worth. But there's not even any toys for my nephew. This is kind of neat. This is... Trying to find something for 20 just sucks ass, but there's Angry Boy. I mean, those things were cool back in the day, but not enough. Mm. Yeah, but it's got a mixture. I don't want a mixture of jerk. Couldn't you just put those by themselves? I mean, there's nothing I want for 20 bucks. my house. I just never, I just don't know where they are at my house. But I remember this, playing with this as a child. Look at this. Look, made out of fat. Guess what game I'm playing? Spyro. <laughs> That's so cool. I wish my friend would play Spyro. Go Shane Dawson. Oh my god, oh my god, the last dance song. You guys remember that's from? Yeah, Queer as Folk. Brian and Justin's song. Ah! I want this on DVD, or I want this song so bad. Oh, it makes me want to watch this episode now. Game chair. Kind of like what I do like how a SP films Koi has. And apparently, when it says stuff like this, we can't return it. Actually, so we all remember that. But a DVD or two, I'll show you later. They really want it. They don't have a replacement. This is where I got it, it was right here at Best Buy. We got a fireplace over there, but only on TV.
tree is so cute. Funky name. Chow's chicken is what she see. Christmas tree, Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, it's Christmas time. That's neat, you get two in each thing for like 30 bucks. I mean, they even got the usher for two. Ooh, 40 pieces for mega bucks, really? That's not Lego. 405 pieces. Let me get this nice container. Hmm, oh, 25 more Legos creator sets. There's this one. There's one of three different things. Oh, there's this one. And there are different things. Candy canes. Oh, with cork. Oh, so cute, so cute, so cute, so cute, so cute. Chicken Alfredo after having the beef. There's this one. Not much. Got my cousin's daughter that. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Look at that brown. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Mmm. Oh, I eat one. I don't like it too bad. That's not with me. Oh, that thing's yeah, moving. Man. Holy cow, that thing's moving. Well, yeah, but how many they have? Look on this side. Today. I know. Oh, What did you As you can see, we're home. I just got freaked out. I was coming down the stairs with 36 gallon pop, which I'll show you how our stairs is. And this is how my dad fell into that hole. And here's the pop I was carrying. Just the first one. And it was really heavy and I thought I had the last step, but I wasn't sure. And it freaked me out. But anyways, we're home now. And they <laughs> basically paid 30 bucks for this stupid chair over there. And lost 10 bucks. So it's been about 40 today. And but I did find at Goodwill. They wouldn't take back the other camera because it didn't have the tag. Which I don't know what the stupid thing is now. So anybody want me to smash it and make a video? My friend used to do smashing videos. Hmm. Comment down below on that. Give me a big old ass bag that I need. But I got this. So if I didn't want to take my purse. I can just put this in my pocket. And it was like only five bucks. Then. I got. And we got this for 20%. Ooh. 20% uh, off as well. And I got this also there. 
that I've been wanting for like two bucks. So I'm really excited about that. And it's in there because I checked. <laughs> See? And that night court thing, they only gave me, they were trying to scan it and there was two of them, but they wanted season one. And they were trying to find another copy of it, but we didn't have another copy of it. And then we were like, fuck it. So we um, just left it, the, you know, so they just gave us the 997. They figured out, anyways, got the money back. Pisses me off they didn't have an extra copy. You guys need to watch Caters 17's new vid vlog video. I almost, something about, thought he was going to die. Because she did something really nice for a really poor, poor girl that couldn't afford this hat that she wanted. She knew she wanted this hat. She knew this girl, this hat meant a lot to this girl. And she knew this girl wasn't just going to be like, eh, whatever. And it was too much. And so Kate bought it for her, went in line, went and found the girl, gave it to her. And the mom's like, I'm trying to teach her, my daughter, how to save money for things. So thank you very much for getting this hat for her. This means so much. She did a caring thing. And then go over to the Shay Tards and watch Katie Letts and Shay singing their new video, Holy Night. Shay is an amazing singer, just like his wife. And seeing all the Christmas videos from over the years was just very amazing. So, you gotta check those two videos out for today. So anyways, I'm home. This will probably be the end of the vlog, I don't know. But I got some things to put away. And I'm just tired, so. Yeah, I hope you had a great day with me. And if you want a smashing video with that, let me know in there in the comments down below. It doesn't work, so what's the point of keeping it? Hey, Amanda Ellis Panda, you just did a big oopsie doopsie no no on your YouTube video. And you're saying, what it. Oh, God. Stupid earphones. I get stuck on everything. And, oh. I just. Oh, so annoying. I need to make earphones that have just one ear hole for people that only do the one ear hole. Anyways, that's not the point. She didn't know, no, okay. You don't go to the gas station, go put the little gas thing in your car, and let it auto fill up yourself while you sit in the car. That's a big, big fat no no. That's not being safe. Because what happens is the electricity from when you're touching the gas to sitting in the car, you get shocked. And if you get shocked, there's electricity and it could blow up your car <clears throat> with you in it. And then you'd be fucked and then you'd be like, oh shit, I'm dead. I should have stayed with the gas. So when you go to fill up your car, I don't care how cold it is or how hot it is, you stay with it until it's done. Then you put it on the thing. And if you accidentally get any gas on yourself, you wipe it off quickly. And then you get back in your car, you go pay for it, and you get back in your car. Now these days they make you pay for it first, then get gas. But I understand why they do that. But the thing is... Amanda, please, don't do that again. That's dangerous. And you could have blew up while filming. And someone could have found the camera and goes, well, these are the last clips of, of Amanda before she blew up. And one's like, yeah, because you left the gas in the hole and came into, you know. I hear stories where people say, well, all I did was I touched my car while I was filling up the gas. Really? You touched your car while you were filling up the gas, and that's why you got static electricity, which you got shocked in the car, and that's why your car started catching on fire. Really? Oh, I hear. I step into my car, and 
Next thing I knew, my car just started flaming up. I mean, I got out of my car safely, but just started flaming up. Really? These are when I say, you're a dumbass, I don't feel sorry for you, that now you have to pay for a new car and pay and also pay for this one that you blew up. I don't feel sorry for you. I'm sorry. When I hear that, oh, my car got caught on fire, now I can't afford to get a new car, blah, 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 or I can't, or I was just getting gas and the next thing I knew, I'm going to be like laughing at you. I'm going to be like, ha, 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 you, you knew better, didn't, and don't give me that bullshit. I didn't know that if you put your, after you get gas and if you get in your car and, and you get shocked that the, 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 the car would blow up, I didn't know it. Don't give me that bullshit. Because we all know, even if you're not a politics type person, you probably still, you know, have somebody in your house that's probably watching the news, and you probably overhear stuff, and so don't give me that bullshit, you probably read stuff, or it's on someone's Facebook, or something like that, so don't give me that bullshit that you don't know, or that you didn't know. Shh, shit, I, I, I mean, I'm one of the people that, type of people that don't know shit, like, I'm not very smart, I don't like school, I'm not a big poly text person, I barely watch the news, but yet, I know that, because somebody in my house watches the news, and I overhear it sometimes, and then I'm like, ooh, I want to listen to that, and if I could drive, and I went to go get gas, I would not go right back into my car, that would be dumb, and I would not touch my car either, until the gas thing was put away, so, don't think that this is bothering me, that Amanda did this or whatever. I'm just trying to help you guys out by saying, don't do this. It's very dangerous. Now, you may say, I didn't know this, but what you really may want to say to people, I may have known this before, but I blocked it out and forgot about it because I didn't think it was that important to store in my head. So don't give us that, I don't... <clears throat> don't give us that bullshit. I didn't know that that's what happened. No, you knew. You just didn't care. And you didn't care to know, and you didn't care to keep that in, stored in your head because you didn't think it was that important because you thought, oh, it will never happen to me. And then when it does happen to you, you don't act stupid and be like, well, I never thought it was going to happen to me. So you say, I didn't know it was going to happen, just so people won't think how stupid you are. People still think you're stupid by even saying, I didn't know it was going to happen because, because, um, we're not stupid. We know, you know, unless you're talking to a stupid person, I'd be like, oh, okay, that explains it. And it's like, okay, you both are stupid. One, you're stupid for saying, I didn't know it could happen, and then you're stupid for believing her saying that. I mean, seriously. Just don't do it.